Plug the jukebox back in Or I'm going home Welcome to Music City Showcase. My name is James Howard. I'm your host. Tonight's a pretty incredible night. I'm sitting at Grandpa, Grandma Mims, Granddaddy Mims, Granddaddy Mims, Georgia Moonshine in Blairsville, Georgia. I'm very happy tonight because I'm sitting beside one inspirational individual. This is international country music artist, Mr. Tommy Townsend of Waymore's Outlaws. I'm, <laughs> I'm thrilled. I'm, 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 I'm sitting in that awe. Right now, beside this individual, I'm ready to talk to him and get some of these incredible stories. But first, before we even get started, I'd like for Tommy to tell us a little bit about where we are right now. And being at Grandma Mims, this place is in, this is located in Blairsville, Georgia, North Georgia. It's a beautiful location. North Georgia is one of the most incredible mountain countries that you've ever seen. And Tommy's located right up here. As a matter of fact, he's from this land. Tommy, tell us a little bit about this. Well, yeah, this is uh, right here in Blairsville, Georgia, in the heart of the mountains, like Appalachian Mountains. But I grew up just a couple miles over here. You grew up here? Yeah, just right over there, about, about a mile and a half, yeah. How much music influence did you get from this area? I mean, was it did, oh, did, did you develop your country roots here? Oh, yeah, definitely. My, my dad played guitar. and uh, Your father played guitar? My father played guitar. And um, then my cousins, they had a square dance band, so my dad played with them. Yes, sir. And uh, so I started playing drums with them when I was five years old. That's amazing. And uh, doing that and then just developed in and just loved music. And, and uh, my dad later on taught me how to play guitar and showed me a few chords. And I, I just kind of took it from there. So yeah. growing up in a musical household, yeah. it bled into what you did in school. Did it, did it, was there a point in high school that it lagged off or were you just completely into music yeah. from that no, time I've, on? No, I've always been in music. But, you know, when I was in, uh, of course, when I got in middle school and high school, I was... I just want to be a, a football star and yes, play, sir. play for Georgia Bulldogs and, yes, and, sir. Uh, and uh, Dallas Cowboys. That yes, was my sir. thing. But uh, I guess it was when I was probably a junior and senior in high school is when I really got into it. You know. Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. Yeah. So it, did, did it did it take over from your social life? Was it an easy balance for you? Did it take away from going to college? I know. I know your aspirations. Yeah. That was a nexus point for Actually, you. Actually, it's so funny. I, you know, I graduated high school. And I went to college for a while. Yes, sir. And then um, that's when uh, when um, Jerry Bridges, uh, Wayland's bass player, and Wayland started working with me. So I, I dropped out to do that, and I didn't go back. Um, but uh, you know, if I've always said, if I'd had ten different college degrees, I'd be doing the same thing I'm doing right now. Now, so, one of the most amazing things, yeah. you know, Tommy, I watch your shows. Uh, you, Traditional country music is a gift, and it's one of the greatest things that uh, I guess the legacy that the South has. Yeah. And one of the things is it, a lot of people feel that traditional country music is slacking off, and I see that you actually preserve the roots of traditional country music. Yeah, yeah, you know, country music is actually, you know, radio doesn't play it as much anymore, um, but it's, it's still alive and well in the world. I it's can, alive I can and well. I guarantee you that because. And what's so funny, you know, is the, you know, I'm the lead singer for Waymore's Outlaws, which yes, is Waylon's uh, band. And then we had toured with Shooter for about four or five years. And, you know, there was people coming to those shows that were from 20 years old to 75 years old. Yes, sir. The, a, a wide you know, variety. Wide, wide range of people. And, and um, so it's, it's alive and well. And, you know, younger people are discovering it, you know, like, you know, we are Spotify and everything on the, you know, Pandora and everything online, you know, they're, they can find it now. Yes, sir. And, um, so, you know, it's, it's becoming, do, do you feel I, one of the things for me, uh, when I think about country music is and a lot of people, me being, a ethnic, a lot of people don't, uh, they, they're, they're taken off when I say I love country music. Yeah. But one of, what they don't understand is I, I grew up in the country. My yeah. grandparents, I grew up with my grandparents. Uh -huh. I didn't actually grow up with my parents. And the only thing in my house was a radio at that particular yeah. point in time. Uh -huh. And my grandparents listened to blues, country, and they listened to gospel, the Billy Graham Theater yeah. and all yeah. that stuff. Mm -hmm. I feel that country music... It's the story of the blue collar worker. It is, yeah. It's the story of the common it's man. Just, it's, it's real life, you know. And that's one of the things that inspires people. Mm -hmm. So that's, I think it's a great heritage if yeah. we preserve that. Mm -hmm. And I'm thankful for you yeah. for doing that. Yeah. Now tell us about when you got started in Grandma Mims. How did this all occur? Uh, Granddaddy Mims. Yeah, Granddaddy, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's my, yeah, my grandfather. I apologize. Oh, it's, it's all right. Mims. Yeah, no. It's, uh, 
Well, this this just fell in my lap to do. It was nothing I ever had planned. Uh -huh. um, a friend of mine in Anaheim, California, uh, which I've known for a long time, he and I own some music publishing and stuff together. Yes, sir. And uh, he's the one that gave me the idea to do it. And uh, so. But the, the recipe has been in your family for, for a long yeah, time. Yeah, it was, uh, it was the same stuff my granddaddy made. Of course, you know, moonshine in the hills up here in the mountains, it was all basically about made the same way. You know, when we, when we got into it, um, my uncle, uh, I asked him about my uncle George, and he said, well, he said, there never was a written down recipe, but he said, I know exactly how we made it because uh, he said he helped, helped my grandfather make some before he went in service, you know. And uh, so that's, he just emailed that to me, and, and uh, we took it from there. And, and um, so I didn't know how to go about it, had no idea. But uh, anyway, I happened to be in a convenience store in Nashville, Tennessee one day. And I looked down at the Tennessee and it said, Prohibition whiskey being made legally again in Tennessee. So I thought, <laughs> and I'm not a big reader, so I thought, well, I better take this article, this paper home and read it. You know? Yes, so sir. So I did. It was a distillery in downtown Nashville that was doing some boutique whiskeys and stuff. So I, I called them and, and got a meeting with them. And, and uh, Jack Keeter, he flew in from Anaheim to Nashville. And we talked to them. And it just kind of took it from there. And uh, then we set this up here. Uh, it'll be three years, and uh, three years is Fourth of July that we've been here. Three years is Fourth of July. Yeah. Now, of July weekend, what I'm noticing, all right, is is that Granddaddy Mims is starting to take off across the country. You it just is. got back. You just got back yeah. from a gig. I mean, uh, you got distribution rights in uh, yeah Arizona. Yeah. Arizona. Mm -hmm. That's a yeah. big one. That's yeah. a big one for Granddaddy. Mims. Yeah. A big win. Yeah, Could you tell us a little bit about that? I mean, this well, is on the fly. How, how that got started, you know, is. Um, uh, they had booked me to play out there in, in Mesa, Arizona. Yes, sir. And uh, Cherie at Roosters, um, she's friends with Kathy Jennings and Buddy and, you know. The now, Jennings Roosters is located? Is in Mesa, Arizona. In Mesa, Arizona. Yeah. So she had been wanting for, you know, would like, been wanting out there for a couple of years and we never could, you know, never just could get it going or whatever. Mm -hmm. So she had booked me to do an acoustic show out there um, last week. And, of course, we booked it back way back in the fall or something like that. But uh, anyway, a couple months ago, she called me and she said she'd found a distributor, uh, you know, the, the, my crowd, you know, small craft yes. distributor. So, so we finagled everything and got it out there. And, and uh, Congratulations so she, yeah, on so, that, man. Congratulations yeah. on that. Now, another thing I want to flash back to because you have so much going on at mm -hmm. this particular point in time. You just got back from two cruises, I think, if, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. Yeah, we you did had a Southern three, Rock cruise, yeah. and there was a country cruise that you, yeah. you orchestrated as we well. Did, with yeah, Williams. we did. Uh, thanks to our uh, our publicist Craig Campbell, um, we did the uh, Southern Rock cruise. Uh, mm -hmm. There's on uh, Norwegian. Um, we did the Outlaw Country cruise on Norwegian, and the country cruise that was on Amer Holland America, I believe. And um, thanks to the folks at Star Vista, uh, uh, Time Life Star Vista, they're the ones that that were doing these things and, and got us on there. And then. Um, uh, six man uh, productions out of Atlanta and XM Outlaw Country. That's wow. how we got on the Outlaw Country cruise. So, uh, and we've already been uh, booked back uh, to do it all again next year. So, so I, that, that's a pretty rewarding uh, experience. It is. Yeah. I mean, and, and yeah. it's, and it's a big step forward, major step forward oh, yeah. for Grand well, well, you got, you got, uh, you know, on a boat, you got. 2,000, 2,500 people right there at you that, that are drinking it, you know. <laughs> that and, were drinking and sharing yeah, it. Yeah, and the, the cool times. thing about it, you know, a couple of the sail away parties they did, you know, they featured a, a Granddaddy Mims drink that they handed out to everybody at the, at the, on the pool deck, you know, a thousand people or whatever. Now, there's, a, there's something else. You're getting ready to release a new video, and there's a new yeah. song that you have that you're releasing, a new LP. What? Tell yeah. me the inspiration. I was willing. I wanted to know. I wanted more to ask about that yeah. because. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, well, Shooter Jennings, Waylon, mm -hmm. and Waylon and Jerry Bridges, uh, his bass player, produced my first record mm -hmm. back when I was a young guy. I was in my twenties or whatever. So, um, and then uh, so Shooter Jennings, Waylon's son, actually produced this record, and uh, so it's it's on his label, um, uh, Black Country Rock, BCR mm -hmm. Media. Uh, so. We uh, started that process uh, four years ago, I guess, and just picking songs and everything. And and so um, we cut it out in L.A. and Shooter produced it and uh, used his band on it. And um, so it it came out back in the in the summer. And um, Outlaw Channels picked it up, Sirius XM. They've been playing Listen. it. And uh, so uh, the song "Drinking." Which has no, That's it. That's has the no, song. That's has it. no uh, relation to this or whatever. 
Uh, but uh, Holly Williams, uh, Hank Williams Jr.'s daughter, wrote that. So, um, wait, that's wait the song. slow down. No, hold on, go yeah. back. Hank Williams Jr.'s yeah, daughter, yeah, and Hank she Williams wrote Jr. this. Yeah, wrote this song, and she had released it too. She's yes. a, she is an awesome singer. Incredible. And uh, a friend of mine had turned me on to the song and said, Man, you know, you should record this. So I listened to it, and I loved it. And that's the, everybody's favorite song. We did a Brandy Carlisle song, you know, and Shooter oh, just. Man. Uh, she just won a Grammy for producing her. I saw that, and big her, congratulations uh, to it, the yeah, whole team. Yeah, on her record. So we cut a Brandy Carlisle song, The Eye. And, uh, but the, the video that's premiering Tuesday uh, is from Drinking. And we shot it up in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, Beautiful country. Yeah, Blake Judd, um, he's, a, he's a video you know, director mm-hmm. and producer, and he, he shot it and directed it and all that. And uh, so, yeah, it, it, it premieres Monday. Um, I'll, actually, I'll go ahead and tell you, it's going to premiere on the boot. <laughs> yeah, so we kind of put a little teaser out yesterday on Facebook or whatever on social media about it. But uh, uh, we don't have the time yet, so you can check my Facebook music page uh, sometime Monday, and, and it'll, it'll give us a time that it'll be premiering on the boot. So Now, all right, in correlation to both the music and Grandma Mims, mm-hmm. Where do you see this going? What What do you? What's your ultimate goal for? Both well, it, you know, it's funny. It was you know we got the record out and everything, and what I'm trying to do is actually co-brand the liquor and the the music together. You yes, know? Sir. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we're going to you know we've been uh, sponsoring some shows around Athens, of course. Yes, sir. You're sir. You're my sponsor. You are yeah, my sponsor. And, uh, so. We've done a couple other things there, and um, just as we grow, you know, um, I'm thinking about you maybe, support a lot of local artists, and one of the yeah. great things, and I. I saw, and the most amazing things about you is that you were always so approachable and you're encouraging. Yeah, yeah. You come and support the artists mm-hmm. that are behind yeah. you. I mean, on all levels, yeah. you're there. I mean, you just got back from your show in Arkansas. You were at uh, the Singer Songwriter Showcase with Lynn Parks the next yeah, night. Yeah, uh, yeah, Wednesday night, we were and, there. Yeah. And that's, it's yeah. all about supporting the next mm-hmm. musicians, lifting musicians. Exactly and I think right. that's the concept behind you. Yeah. Now, yeah. It, where if, if people wanted to find out where they could find Tommy Townsend merchandise mm-hmm. yeah. where they could find Tommy Townsend's yeah. schedule. Okay. Where they could be. Yeah. Could well, you can go to TommyTownsendOnline.com. It's got our schedule there. You get merchandise there. You can go to all my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, GranddaddyMems.com. Uh, our Facebook, all the social media with Granddaddy Mems. So we've got everything there. Uh, as far as buying the record, uh, it's actually a vinyl. Yes, sir. Vinyl, CD, and a download card all in one package. And uh, you can get that at bcrmedia.com, or you can go to my website. It's got a link there. Uh, go to tommytownsonline.com, and it's got a link to the, the record label, and you can buy it there. It's in some record stores here and there. Yes, sir. And um, so, and then it's streamed on Spotify, Pandora, Amazon, iTunes, Apple Music, and all that stuff. So and you it can sounds find it incredible. Anywhere. You can find it almost yeah. anywhere. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're international. You've played yeah. all over the world. Yeah. Now, and do you plan on continuing your career in music? Is there ever a point where Tommy Townsend's it's plans on putting down the guitar? No, I don't. I don't plan on it. I plan on playing music as long as somebody will listen to me. <laughs> and we plan on loving you through every step yeah, of man. the way, Tommy. I want to yeah. thank you for giving yeah. me this opportunity. Thank you so much, James. Thank Appreciate you so much. Give yeah. me a hug, man. Yeah. Give me a hug. <laughs> now, yeah, man. I want everybody to stay tuned. We're getting ready. Uh, Tommy's sitting down tonight with the Country River Band, and the Country River Band's going to come back and join me later on. I want everybody to tune back in for that. But for right now. I want to get ready to join the music, and we're going to let Mr. Tommy Townsend sit in with those guys. Thank you for tuning in to Music City. Thank you very much. A beer drinking crowd. Oh, let's turn back the clock. There's old Waylon still rocks. A beer drinking crowd.